What's going on everyone, how you doing? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. In today's video, we're gonna review Keto Queen Creations Pound Cake Mix. But before we do, let's roll the intro. So in our March Keto Crate, we received this Keto Queen Creations Pound Cake Mix, and we were really intrigued by it because we haven't yet seen any kind of like keto box cake mix. You know, before keto, Rachel and I were used to just running to the store and getting like a box of Duncan Hines or Pillsbury cake mix, come home, throw a couple eggs, some oil in it, and you were ready to go with a cake. And we haven't seen anything like that for keto, so we were really intrigued by this. So a little bit about this, it says it's from a company called Keto Queen Creations. Try saying that three times fast. And this is the pound cake mix. It says made in New York. On the front it says low carb, sugar free, and guilt free. And then on the back it says shed the pounds with our pound cake. Terrible pun, but it is a truthful statement. Either way, feel confident when creating this healthy, delicious treat. Now it says here the nutrition facts are 12 servings in this container. There is one gram of fat. There is 15 grams of total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, and 12 sugar alcohols. So that makes it one net carb. There's also one gram of protein and it's 25 calories per serving. Now the thing about this is though, you do need to add a few ingredients. You're gonna need to add four eggs, four tablespoons of butter softened and four ounces of cream cheese. And then you're gonna preheat your oven at 350 degrees. You're gonna put it into a greased uh, cake pan and then you're gonna bake it for 40 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and make this. Now the ingredients in this are simply three ingredients. It's erythritol, coconut flour, and baking powder. Okay, so I have everything I need over here. I have a bowl here with four tablespoons of butter and four ounces of cream cheese. I've been softening this for about an hour. I've got a bowl with uh, four eggs in it. Then I've got my pan, and I've got some coconut oil spray, and then I have my beater. So let's go ahead and make this. So I'm gonna read the directions on the back. It's gonna say that in a large bowl, mix your butter and your cream cheese with your eggs until smooth. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to beat up the cream cheese and the butter for a second. Now I'll add the eggs. Okay, so that's four eggs. Grab my towel here. We'll go ahead and beat this up. Okay, so that's all done there. Okay, so now it's gonna say pour the pouch and contents into this and mix well. So we'll go ahead and add the contents. Now it is a Ziploc container, but it's only one serve, one con one package. So I don't know how you would really, why you would really want to Ziploc it back up. I guess you could maybe divide it up if you can measure it out equally. So we'll go ahead and beat this up. Okay, so we have that all mixed up and you can take a look at the mixture there. We'll take our cake pan. I'll go ahead and give it a little spray. And then we will put it in the loaf pan. Okay, so that's all done. And now it's 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. We'll go ahead and put this in and we'll come back in 40 minutes. Okay, so I'm back here with Rachel. The pound cake is done. 
And of course, that's when Rachel appears. <laughs> of course. So let's go ahead and take this out of the pan. It smells good in here. So this is the Keto Queen Creations package. It says it's made in New York. It, yep, I Just went like over you. all that. <laughs> so that's the pound cake. It's beautiful. It, it's really pretty. So again, that's, this is the Keto Queen Creations. And I know you don't like the end. I like the middle. I actually like that show, the middle. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Still I don't warm. Know if I get it to focus, but there we go. All right. I have the best job in this relationship. <laughs> Again, it's coconut flour, so. It's eggy. It's very eggy. It's very moist. Sorry, kids. I said it. <laughs> I feel like I gotta taste yours again to compare it. Okay, well, so they're seeing this video first. Mm -hmm. So now when we got this, I looked at the package and I was like, you're paying a lot of money for three ingredients because this is $12.99. It ain't no jiffy cake. So when you add in your eggs and your butter and your cream cheese, this cake costs almost $16. Holy macaroni. <laughs> That's a lot. So I really felt like that was a lot of money. So without even tasting this. No frosting, no decoration. No frosting, no decoration. So without even tasting this. I made my own and there was a link to that video right here, which we're going to release the two videos at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. So th that is this cake here, which I actually left in the oven just like a minute too long. But yeah. That's this one here. And we made this one but, yesterday. But it looks the same. Okay. Like. So again, I don't know if you can really tell. They look the same. Slightly more yellow. I don't know. So I've used, when in making these, before you try that, in making these, I used the same exact eggs. I used Vital Farms eggs in both of them. Yeah. I used Kerrygold butter in both of them, and I used Trader Griot's cream cheese. So everything is identical, except for one is the thing, and one is my recipe using the same ingredients of erythritol, coconut flour, and baking powder. Okay. Okay. All right, so let me... This is them. And this is you. I don't remember which one was mine. Mine was the one that was a little bit browner on the top, right? Mm-hmm. I honestly can't tell the it difference. It tastes exactly the same. If I, I want to say yours is like a fraction sweeter. I can't tell the difference. I really can't tell the difference. The same moistness. Sorry, the dog bumped the camera, so sorry about that for a second. They're playing enthusiastically. Yeah, because we're babysitting Rachel's mom's dog, and so you have a 100-pound Labrador retriever who's trying to be best friends with, like, a 5-pound rat. Your mom's going to kill me for that, but... It's a multi-poo. It's a multi-poo, but I don't even think she weighs five pounds. So... Me, so he? He, he, he. So I can't tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference. I mean, I want to say that this one is a little bit spongier than mine, but... but one was mine, just baked. One just came out of the oven, and mine is from yesterday and has been sitting in the refrigerator, and we just heated it in the microwave for 15 seconds. And I know when it came out yesterday, it was spongy like this too. So remind me of the price point on yours. Okay, so again, they're going to see the other video, but this one is twelve ninety nine for the dry ingredients. Mine, a dollar thirty for the dry ingredients. Yeah, it's it's first of all, I can't tell any difference between them. So that's number one. 
even if I tasted a slight difference and that this one slightly edged it out, it's not $13 better. Right. Now, if you take in, now again, I use top of the line ingredients. So I used Vital Farm eggs that I got on sale, but still 40 cents an egg. Mm -hmm. And I used Trader Joe's cream cheese and I used Kerrygold butter. Yeah, but so none of that my, matters because if they use a low grade well, egg and cheese and no, stuff. No, no, but what I'm saying sure is so mine same. with the top of the line ingredients, it was $1.30 for the dry ingredients. And then don't remember that off the top of my head, I, it is in that video, but it was like $4.60. With the eggs, oh, with the cream cheese yeah. and everything. Whereas this one is going to be like $16. Like we wouldn't pay that much at a bakery before keto for a no. cake. And I mean for a birthday cake. It's kind right? of hilarious. We were buying like day old birthday cakes. I was going to say, it's hilarious. Usually like what I would do is just go to Walmart like the morning of the party and see, like, what's on clearance? Was $16, now $4. And I, I, it's kind of like we're doing the same thing here. Right. Was $16, now $4. Right. So let's do our five things. High five. Okay, so number one. Ingredients. Ingredients. The ingredients are good. A rich for tall coconut flour and baking powder. All things we have in our pantry. All things we have in our pantry already, which is how we could make it. Yeah. I would say this on the packaging. I mean, the packaging of this is really nice. Very cute. But I would say that they just list the ingredients as erythritol, coconut flour, and baking powder. And I would prefer that they would put, whether it's organic, erythritol, and coconut oh. flour. Uh, especially erythritol because erythritol is made from corn. GMO. And if it's not organic, there's a chance, yeah, that it's GMO. So I'm sure that they're using organic. Let's give they're them a, a keto benefit company, of But they doubt. should put it on the label like organic erythritol, organic yeah. coconut flour. So ingredients are good. Mm -hmm. Two. Does it keto based on nutrition? I mean, yeah. it's a dessert. Yeah, it's a dessert, but I mean, it does it keto. It's 25 calories for the dry ingredients plus whatever, you, plus you're, I mean, you're adding all fats. You're adding egg, butter, and cream cheese. Um, so one gram of fat, one gram of protein, 15 carbohydrates, two fiber, 12 sugar alcohol. So it's one net carb per slice if you cut it into 12. Nice. So it ketos. Yeah. Okay. Um, number three, taste. Delicious. It's very good. I will say it's very good. I do think the taste is going to be completely dependent on the ingredients that you have to add. Yeah. You know, if you use, you use a crappy butter, it's going to taste like it. If you use crappy eggs, it's going to taste like it. And I never thought that that was the case. You know, I remember when we first started keto, but we weren't using uh, Kerrygold yet. I remember we went to like a Christmas party. At mm -hmm. church, and somebody had brought it, uh, like cookies, and they said, "Oh, these are keto." And somebody else had said, "Well, are they? Did you use Kerrygold?" She's like, "Of course." I'm like, "Nah, eh, there's no difference." She's like, "Oh, there's a difference." I can still remember opening that first stick of butter and being like, "This is orange." Yeah, you know. But I remember the first time we made cookies with Kerrygold, and then made some without it, and it's like such a flavor difference. It's so amazing. I think I do t think the taste is going to be dependent on the ingredients you add. Yeah. So, number four. Price. Price. <laughs> and, and here is where we part ways. Do not buy this. No. Don't buy this. I mean, I hate to crap on someone who's in the keto community and like really trying, but I mean, it's they are expensive. upcharging you, literally upcharging you almost $12 to put it in a package. Yeah. Go watch our other video. When you realize how little of an ingredient is in here and how i mean again it's a dollar 30 in ingredients and that's my cost buying it on amazon that's not being a company getting wholesale prices my cost your cost at home a dollar 30 in ingredients so you're paying 12 dollars for this pretty bag i feel like they which by the way is ziplocked for some reason so that you can reopen it but it doesn't give you an option to break it down <laughs> So I don't know why you would Ziploc the bag. I feel like if you are going to kind of get into like Can the, I have a drink? the upscale, you know, keto dessert market, make make the make the cake and sell the cake made. And then maybe you can Well the problem money. there is here's the thing about almost all keto desserts have to be refrigerated. Well they're they're not shelf stable. I'm trying to give them a reason to stay in the game here. To me, you could sell this for five bucks and still and be making a decent profit. I mean, maybe a dollar for the bag, 
but thirteen dollars. Because we're not even getting wholesale. Anybody pantry want to be partners? I mean, product. I mean, again, it's <coughs> it's thirteen dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't know. We're tr we're trying to help them here. No, I mean, it's just like a ridiculous amount of money for a bag. Uh, yeah. And three ingredients. I'm so sorry. I want this to work for them. So, would we recommend it? No. No. That's number five. Uh, I'm not recommending it. The taste is great. It ketos, yes. It's so ridiculously overpriced. I, and I mean, I have no problem paying more for good quality stuff, yeah. but this is so ridiculously overpriced. Yeah. That's terrible. And and honestly, I think that the recipe is easy enough to do. Like, yeah. if I, I can't... I can't express to you like what a Go lousy watch the video. Well, what a lousy cook I am. And if I feel like comfortable cooking this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm not kidding when you can literally pre-make a batch of this, put it in some Ziploc bags if you want. There you go. If you want like a, a cake mix. And that's what I said in the beginning of the video. Like we are used to going to the store and buying a Duncan Hines cake mix, come home because mm -hmm. you're... Literally, you could just make a whole bunch of these, stick them in your pantry. Yeah. And then when you want, you know, a cake, pull it out, add four eggs, four tablespoons of butter, and four ounces of cream cheese. It literally takes you less than three minutes to make this, plus the baking time of 40 minutes. Okay, so I have an idea. I have an idea for them. Because the bag is really cool, and it is resealable. Maybe get out of the cake game and get into the Ziploc bag game. And then you could like then people could I'm put their own piece. I think cake mix mine. in there. Well, I'm sorry, but I know I'm sorry. I feel terrible. All right. Well, that is our video for today. Got to be honest. As I'm choking. Please don't. So that's our video for today. Hopefully, we helped you guys out. Hopefully, we saved you guys a little bit of money. Go watch our other video. You know, we have a link up there and we have a link down in the description. It's going to be uploaded like within a couple of minutes after this one. And you you'll could see be eating this cake. How easy it is to make this. Very and soon. you don't have to spend $13. Yeah. And it's, again, people who have nut allergies, this is awesome this because is a it's great made with coconut flour. It would make a bir birthday cake. Yep. And it's a fraction of the cost of a coconut flour, of an almond flour cake because coconut flour is so much cheaper and you need so little of it. Yeah. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And check out our social media on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website, which is 2CrazyKetos.com. Till next time. Bye. Bye.